guys, it's Vanessa Helen back here again. I just wanted to film a eye tutorial for you guys today on the with the new Lime Crime Venus XL palette. I just got this in so I was excited to play with it and I just wanted to film this look for you guys. Also, I want to apologize if it took me a while to put a video up. I've been waiting for the camera that I'm using right now to film to um do another video for you guys. I just want it to be better quality, you know. So um, if you guys want to see the tutorial on how I did this look for my eyes, then just keep watching. Alright guys, let's jump right into it. Here is the Venus palette. Look how beautiful it is. Alright. So, let's see. Got to prime those eyes, and I always use um, a concealer to prime my eyes. It just concealer works better for me to prime my eyes. You can use, you know, eyeshadow primer if that's what works best for you. It's all about what you're comfortable with, you know. This is just my normal routine. And then I'm just going to set my eyes. Sorry guys, I just zoomed you in a little closer. Alright. So, I'm, be, I'm going to be using the Morphe um, E27 brush. I don't know if you can see right there. I'm going to be using blank canvas right there. Um, just to use as my transition color. Just gonna blend that in the crease area. I was so happy to get this palette. Not only because the colors are so beautiful, but because Lime Crime is a hundred percent vegan and cruelty free. And if you saw my last video of the Cover FX um, foundation, you know that, you know, being vegan, like, it's really important for me to buy, you know, like, uh, vegan makeup products. So, yeah. And then we're going to dip into Scallop right there with the same brush. Just doing the same thing. Blending it in the crease area, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Sorry if I'm squinting. Even though my camera's better, my eyesight isn't better, I'm still blind. <laughs> so, but um, I'm working on, I just got a insurance so yay you know I'm working on uh, getting contacts that way I don't always have to squint to see what I'm doing or block the camera with my mirror without even knowing okay so I'm gonna go with a darker color today to Blend out on the outer corner. So I'm gonna do the color Botticelli, I believe it is. It's this color at the bottom, where am I right there? So we're just gonna dab into that. Oh, I'm using the Morphe E17 brush. Just put it on the outer corner. outer corner of my eye and just start blending it in words. I'm oh, sorry, gosh, look at me doing it again, huh? We're just gonna keep blending it in.
and we're just going to do the same to the other side. You want to keep blending it in. It's going to look a little messy at first. Just because, you know, it's it's a really dark like color, you know. You just got to keep working your way into it, you know. Keep blending it in with the brush. You just want to keep blending it in. Blend. I love this color because it's like a like a berry color. And I love fruity things. Sorry if I keep looking over here. I'm looking at the the frame over there. There's my new camera. I can see the screen right there, which is good for me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking at my screen right there. All right, I think. We're about done with the blending. I feel so vulnerable because you can see my face so clearly. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to do a cut or half cut crease today. So I'm just gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. And I'm just gonna use a small smudge brush. It's from Elf. It's a little, little brush like that. Just to cut the front half of my crease. I'm not perfect at this. I'm still learning, so don't judge me if it looks a little off. Okay. focus on something I don't tend to talk so now we are going to dip into the color new classic I believe is what it's called it's this one right here and I'm going to use the Morphe E32 brush. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, it's a little... brush to pack the color in it. 
let's just okay looks about good I'm gonna blend it in don't worry Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in with the E17 brush and dip into Bocelli again, Botticelli, sorry, and um, just blend in right here, make sure these blend in well. So, that is it for the look. Now I'm going to do my face and then come back and talk to you more. Alright guys, this is it for the finished look. Just get a close up on it. Alright, let's see me back up. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for this look with the, the Lime Crying Venus XL palette. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, subscribe to my channel please and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below, whatever you want. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.